Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Zinizin Kozwa, the Jesus girl, coming back to you with another video. And I am very, very excited because today I'm not alone. I am with my friend, Zizi Tusikungai, who happens to be a worshipper. Yes. A master's candidate. Chemical engineer first. My Chemical engineer. <laughs> now she is a master's candidate. My God. She's an evangelist. Mm. A preacher. Mm. Can I name more? Oh my Must God. I tell them everything. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Greet everyone. Hi guys. Hi everyone. Uh, I think she's just being extra. <laughs> preacher. <but> no. <laughs> she's just being extra. But anyway, yes, she forgot to say something really important about me. See. Come on now. And I love Jesus. Yes, girl. Yes, <laughs> so, girl. Yes. So you can see how this thing is just rubbing off. Yeah, the Jesus, the Jesus girl. The Jesus girl. The Jesus girl. <laughs> so, <laughs> so today she will be sharing her testimony with us if you're interested in that. Please continue watching. If you have not subscribed, please. What are you waiting for? Press that red button. Join the family. And if you love this video, give, us, give it a massive Thumbs up. Uh, let's get right into it. So, as I said, you are here to share testimony. Yeah. So, tell us what happened from the beginning. Give us the background of everything. And yeah, just smile safe. Okay. Uh, where do I begin? All right. So basically, I came to well, since 2014, mm -hmm. telling myself that, you know, I'm free from the parents. Just want to go out there. Ah. You know, you're low. You only live once. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm just going to live my life. I'm going to do whatever they do at varsity. I was like, I told myself that. Okay, but I came and I registered for chemical engineering, of course. And only to realize that I did not get time at all to go partying or whatsoever, which is a which was a first save mm -hmm. from God. Um, so in 2015, I happened to get saved. So unexpectedly, you guys. But that's another story. Like it's it's a story for another day. Um, yeah. So I, I I basically didn't know anything when I started going to church. I didn't know how to pray. The the basic things that normal people would know how to do. Like you learn praying from back home, right? Mm -hmm. I got there, I didn't know how to pray, I didn't know how to read the Bible, I didn't know anything basically. But yeah, time went by and I learned how to pray and I learned how to read my Bible, I learned how to meditate mm. and I actually started hearing from God as well. Mm. Yeah, and I was at a point where I would say I was really serious with my relationship with God mm. and I was growing, I was growing day by day, there was a change in my spiritual life. Mm. I remember you were even in the worship team. Yes, I started joining the worship team. Yes, but um, we were very few, <laughs> very small group. Yes, but God was doing a very great work. And yeah, uh, you know how it is when you when you first fall in love, you just want to tell the whole world. You want to tell them about zeal. God. Yeah. <laughs> I was at that point and I started evangelizing people, mm. bringing people to Christ, telling people about God, which was not easy actually. So when people know you as another person mm. and now all of a sudden you change mm. and you are another person mm. it wasn't easy but yes i i was just putting god out there I was just putting jesus out there and yes uh people started coming um yeah and i was also growing i was also growing but uh along the way uh during that time i was i was dating mm. i had a boyfriend yes and because uh, God is wonderful. <laughs> actually, the Holy Spirit is very wonderful because it actually convicts you. You just know when something is wrong. Mm -hmm. No one has to come to you and tell you that what you're now doing is wrong. you have to stop dating. Mm -hmm. Now do this. Yes, I had that conviction that you know what? Now you have to stop dating. You have to stop. You need to focus on one thing. And the Bible says you can't serve two masters mm -hmm. at once. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm still in the world, but another foot one is foot in, in one, one, one foot, foot out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was basically that. And um, um, but you know it's not easy especially when you are used to that when mm. you know mm. how it is and how it feels so I would spend time with my boyfriend and I would just be off like I just don't want to be here <laughs> like but then okay to a point where we I actually decided that you know what I can't do this anymore 
and we both decided that it's it's not going to work out. But he actually tried. He, you remember he used to come to church. Mm. Like he would come. and mm. But because he was doing Let's it. Let's do the Jesus thing together. You, you see, know, I know that. And he was coming to, to, to church for me mm. and not for, for himself. Me, you see, yeah. Mm. Which is a trap. That's a trap. It's a trap. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we, we, we got to a point that we realized both of us that it's really not working mm. out. We we are pulling to different directions. So it, it's not working out. Yes. And I was at a point that, you know what? It's just me and God. Mm. It's just me and Jesus. Growing your like, relationship with yeah. God. Mm. And yes, I continued and I grew and I got baptized. Um, I remember. The same mm. year. I got baptized mm. the same year in August. It was really exciting, you guys. Um, Still for another day as well. <laughs> I was very excited. And... Yeah, but I was just growing. I was just growing every day and every day. But, you know the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> it pulls to itself. The out. flesh. <laughs> yeah, we know the flesh. And it's desire. <laughs> Paul says that what I want to do, mm. I do not do. Mm. But what I do not want to do, then I do. Mm. Yes, I was at the point where I was like, sanctified you guys like i, I i'm set apart mm, right for christ for christ I, I mean, you don't touch me yes you don't you know yes my body is a temple <laughs> 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 yes but um one one night yeah one night one night of oh, weakness goodness. my god and you know how the enemy is he uses one open door just one open door and he's in mm. and he's in to destroy because mm. the bible says that what he comes to do he comes to steal mm. to mm. kill and to destroy mm. so i had like one open window and boom he was in one night of witness and after that i told myself you know what ah, I that, was to God. that was the last time go to god last time. not gonna like, do it again you know, god, I'm <laughs> sorry. Repent. i was like god i'm sorry you know my heart i love you i don't want to do this mm. So I continued just fine. I was like, oh, God has forgiven me, you know, fine. And the months went by, the months went by, and my body started changing, and I started feeling differently. But even then, I was just, you know, God has, I'm gaining, and I'm like, I don't pity you, I think about, you know, I'm gaining, and I'm like, God, it has got me, you know? <laughs> that time, I'm totally blind. I don't even know what's going on. I didn't know I was pregnant by then, but um, yes, um, I started having morning sicknesses and symptoms started mm. showing up. Mm. Yo, you guys, I didn't know what to do. First thing that I did when I found out, remember during that time me and my boyfriend are not on speaking terms mm. anymore. We are, we know, we know each other. We're still fine, but we just not mm. in because the relationship didn't work out. It didn't work out. I'm like, who do I go with this to? Mm. Yo. Firstly, I ran to my sister, of course. You ran to family first. Okay, the first thing is you run to God, guys. But you know, at that time, at that time I was like, understand. no, I ran to family. Understand. I told my sister, and she was like, okay, so what do we do? I was like, I don't know. And because at that time, I was the person who was evangelizing mm, people and watching. telling them about Christ and everybody. I was basically there, mm. and people were watching me. So I was like, how am I going to face the world? What am I going to do? What am I going to say to those people that I was telling about Christ? Mm. What am I going to do with people all this? Call you hypocrite, right? You know? mm. And I told myself, you know what? Like, bye. I'm, I'm not coming to, to church. And that time I'm not, I'm not showing nothing but the guilt mm. in my heart. I, I just couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't go. I felt like I can't go to church and raise holy hands which mm. are not really holy mm. every sunday it was like no i can't do this and remember i'm a worker mm. i go in front and i minister to people mm. i can't be ministering lies mm. I, that's what i told myself so i started not going to church and so of course it's going to raise questions like where are you you're a worker I'm trying you to call to... you blue ticking ass you know you. yeah and my father's that time like, calling my past is calling I'm, I'm just ignoring everything ignoring mm. everyone mm. that in my mind i was telling myself that these people are too holy for me for me because now i'm going through this and i, I just can't associate myself with them mm. so i went back to my boyfriend which was a comfortable place for, for me mm. at that moment i went back to him and i told him you know what this is what happened that night 
and okay, I'm pregnant and you know, hmm, welcome me. Like, yeah, we can do this together. Don't worry. You're good. I mean, we'll raise the kid together. Don't worry about church. And you know, and at that time, he was trying to show me all the wrong things about church and mm. and all the, my friends, basically. Mm. And I was also like, yeah, 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 they're not. But in my heart, I'm like, mm. I can't. Mm. Okay, um, which now when I look back, it reminds me of the story of the Israelites when they left Egypt, mm -hmm. when they were in the wilderness and they were not, they were still on their way to the promised land. They were like, no, this is too much. We've been on this road for too long in Egypt. We were eating nice meals. We had this, we had that. So you went back to Egypt, basically. Yes, basically. Forgetting that in Egypt, they were slaves. Mm -hmm. So at that moment, I forgot that that life, I was a slave to that mm -hmm. life. And now, I'm in this life, I'm free. Yes, I made a mistake, but this is where there is freedom. I can't be going back to the chains. But back then, I was like, you know what? I was my life was so much better than then. So I, I went back to Egypt. So to, now I want to know, really, really, but how did you feel towards people? How did you feel towards God? Because now you're pregnant, you've evangelized to people. People are coming to church because. Says that you told me about your church and she's yes. on fire for the Lord and the Lando message it and Lando message why you know what I mean? So how were you feeling about God at the like what was your mental state? But how like like in plain terms, how were you feeling towards God, towards the people of God? To the towards your friends who you go to church with yes. because mm -hmm. all of us who are your friends are people that we go to church with. So we are the church basically. Yes. Mm -hmm. During that time, I don't want to lie, I was angry at God. I was really angry. I was, you know, when such things happen, you look for someone to blame. Mm -hmm. At that moment, you want to take yourself out of the equation and mm -hmm. blame somebody, everyone else except you, 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 but not me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so at that time, I was angry at God because I was, I was, I was saying to myself, how do you let me be involved so much? How do you let me love you and? be so much zealous about your things and be so you know and be so in and yet you know what's happening you know i'm pregnant why didn't you warn me any <laughs> that you know what girl you're pregnant now stay like don't, don't show yourself so, 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 i was like what is wrong with you to a point where i would go to my knees to shout at god not to pray i go to my knees i'm like you are a selfish man <laughs> Like you are selfish. How do you do this to me? <laughs> like, yo, I was angry. I was angry. And towards the people, basically, I was just, I was, it was not being scared as such, but I was embarrassed. I was ashamed. Like, how do I face the same people that I told them about Christ? Now, look at me. Mm. I couldn't. But God, like, he was, I was just blaming him. Mm. It was all, yeah. And towards my friend, you can testify. <laughs> You can testify, my God, I was a bad friend. You oh, I thank God for some friends. <laughs> for some friends, like yo, I thank God. Like she used to call me, like maybe around eight. I ignore her calls. The moment I pick up, I'm like, what do you want? She's like, no, my friend. This I'm like, Zinins, leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone to a point where i would actually use the child to blame her like if you don't stop calling me you know that you're giving me stress and i'm gonna lose this child is that what you want you want me to do this day and she was like, like okay for the sake of the child um i'm gonna stop calling you but if you need anything i'm here i'm like i don't need anything i'm fine like, let's go out eat i'm like i don't want to eat i'm okay <laughs> So, you I can't mean, even bribe her, she's a bad friend, you can't bribe her with food. <laughs> that was basically, yeah, that was what was happening during that time. But I was at a point where I felt like I'm being claimed. The world is claiming me, but God is also, also claiming, claiming me. Like, yeah. you are mine, like, come to me. But I feel like there are strongholds, there are chains, like, I want to go forward. But I can't, not with this. Mm. Because look look at look at me, I'm in chains. Mm. Like, God is saying, come walk. But I'm like, I can't. Like, look at mm. the chains. I can't walk. I'm, I'm bound, actually. Mm. So I was, I was at that point. How did you get out? Because you're on fire now. <laughs> With your Praise beautiful God. baby girl, Amen. you are on fire now. Amen. You have reclaimed. Like, yo, guys, I can testify to how God has been working in our life. So I want to know, I want you to help someone who's also going through the same thing, who doesn't know how to get out, who doesn't know how to go back to, to God, to go and experience God, who feels like they've disqualified themselves from experiencing God's love. Oh, uh, okay. 
first of all, I've got an amazing, beautiful baby girl. Yes! She is two years and four Dugumakas, guys. <laughs> Dugumakas. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It's not something that you just wake up from. It's not like you sleep and you wake up from a bad dream. It's not it's not like that. It's baby steps. Mm. It's easier to 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 destroy than it is to, to build. build. Mm. It is very easy because you can build something but destroy it in one day. Mm. And it's not easy to get back up. But with God by your side, mm. you know if you do things in your own ability, in your own strength, you would eventually fulfill them but Having God as a helper, mm. it's it's very catalyst. Easy. Yes, it it, it speeds up the process. The process. Yes. Mm. Um, during that time, I got to a point where it also helps having people that support you, people that will speak the word to you, people that will remind you about the love of God. Mm. Give because up yes, because at that time you, you you just feel like God doesn't love you anymore, and basically the whole world is just judging you mm. and. People are not even, maybe there might be some people that are looking at you like, oh, girl, but then the people that are like, they want you to get that up, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's it, it helps you have sisters, it helps you have fathers, to have spiritual mothers and e- everyone who's going to build you up at that, mm-hmm. at that moment. And the, thing, the, the amazing thing about the love of God is that when you feel like you do not deserve it, mm-hmm. that's when it shows yeah. up. When you feel like you know what I, I I I'm a mess I I like I do not qualify to be loved by God. It also reminds me of the prodigal son, when he came back from spending all the riches and all the inheritance mm. that he had. When he came back, he was like, you know what? I'm not even worth it to mm. be called your I'm son. I can be your servant, but his father hugged him mm. and to, and said, you know what? Go slaughter the fattest. Uh, of, you come know? on. So that at that moment, that's when you realize that. It's not even about the mistake. God is not out to count that, okay, today you, you mm. didn't pray. Today, you, God is not counting your He's sins. A mm. He's a father. And at that moment, you need to first forgive yourself. Yes. It starts there. You forgive yourself. You know what? I have sinned. <gasps> Guys, we ran out of space. <laughs> we ran out of space. So, what's that thing? So, I was saying that uh, you get to a point where God has forgiven you. But now you just need to accept and forgive yourself as well. Mm. And also allow people to show you love. Mm. And allow your fathers as well to show you love mm. as well. Yeah. If you don't have a church, you really need to get a church. Get a family. Get a, a family in Christ. People you can run to. Mm. People you can run to. People who care for you. People who love you. People who won't give up on you. And also, if you are a believer, be that person. Yeah, to someone. If you're going to say that I want people who are going to care for, for me, care for someone. Exactly. Care for someone. So be that person. Um, we're speaking about experiencing the love of God uh, and believing that God loves you, believing that he has forgiven you, believing that you, even though you are not worthy of his love, he still, still loves you. He still leaves the 99 and yes. comes to you. You are that one. Believe that you can also be that one that God comes to. Um. Today we were talking about Uzeze who fell pregnant and you know a lot of girls if Umdu MSNC were if they were saved and they were on fire for the Lord and then they fall into the trap of falling pregnant. They don't want to come back to God because they feel ashamed. And it doesn't only apply. This testimony is only for not only for someone who has fallen into into pregnancy or fornication, but it's for someone who has fallen into drugs. Addictions, addictions, and, you know, uh, sexual immorality, everything yeah. you can think of, every chain actually that binds. It's mm. not only focused on pregnancy specifically. So if you're going through anything, if you're going through anything, go back to God. Come go back. back on your knees. Oh, that is the bl- that is the best place to go. Go back on. There's a song that says. I find my life. I find my life when I lay it down. Oh, lay down your life at the throne of Jesus and give yourself to God again. He accepts you just As the you way are. you are. Come to me, all you who you are burdened. Burden. I will give you rest. That's what he says. So yes, before it gets too serious in this place, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so so much for watching this video and getting to this point in the video. I love you guys so much. Does it do any last words? Yeah, if you are going through the same thing, maybe you can drop a comment 
on below and just tell us what you might be struggling with as well and we can help yeah, yeah. you know the comment section section i go to it and i see that people interact and they talk and they talk if you have an experience you can drop a comment and then we can interact and talk about these things as i yes. say in this channel we influence the world with the word we say things that other believers don't want to talk, talk about, about. They don't yes. talk about it. <laughs> we will talk about it i love you guys so much if you've not subscribed uh what are you waiting for <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to my channel give this video a massive thumbs up you can share it and tell a friend to tell a friend that this means was here giving you the good stuff yeah i love you guys so much love you. Love you. let's do it together mm -hmm. <laughs>